Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with a little bit of howling. Um, I went to a couple different places um, and some of these aren't like just recent hauls. Some of them are stuff that I have bought like a few weeks ago that I forgot to show. Um, like I went to Dollar Tree thanks to I think ECH Bunny for the tip about the satin pillowcases. Um, I ordered something from Julep and then um, from Sally Beauty Supply. So the quickest thing I have, I ordered um, Julep. I think this was from the Secret Store. Yeah, I'm almost pretty positive this, this was from, ooh, excuse me, mm, from the Secret Store. I wanted to stock up. This get a, I didn't get a whole lot, just a couple of things. Um, the um, two things that I ordered was the Lux Care Hand Cream and a two pack. And um, this is like my favorite. I love this stuff. I use this at night because it's got that just that perfect thickness. And it's not like, um, how do I want It's not greasy, but um, it's just really, really nice. And it's been stuffed in my in the mailbox. So it's a nice emollient cream. It has a very subtle, nice, fresh scent to it. And um, the two pack was I think seventeen ninety nine. So um, and I like I said I love using this um, as my nighttime moisturizer because it when I wake up my hands just feel amazingly soft and smooth and um so i love using this at night so i'm pretty much empty on the last one that i had um so i wanted to get these two and then the next thing i got was the um your sidekicks little packet package and um the main reason i wanted to get this was because of the cuticle pusher i really do like this cuticle pusher um i found even with curved nails, I find that it does work really well. The way the shape, it is somewhat curved, but it does. My biggest problem where I get the most amount of, like I get a lot of buildup like on the sides of my nails. And I find that the way the this pusher is made, like the edge, I can get really nice and into it. And I like that it's like a dual ended one. So if you're a righty or a lefty, and you can switch hands and just use one implement. And I have one already. Or do I have two already? I have. I know I have at least one, and I really like it. And I wanted to get a backup. I've been waiting for um, the what is it? The nail care kit with this pusher and um, the other, you know, cleaner, the clippers and everything. It's a little set, and it's I think it's generally like forty something dollars or something like that, and. Um, I want to get a backup of the set because I really do like all the implements that are within the set. So um, just because my goal is to have my own salon and having more than enough and a variety of different implements I think is key. And I really do like those. And then I do want to have like my own personal set that I use just on myself and not on other clients or whatever so I do want to get that um, but I did want to get an extra one of these because I just really really like it um, <clears throat> and um, this is what it looks like so and this set I believe was only $14.99 for this um, three piece set it came with two of these little buffer blocks which are actually pretty good. And then um, I love their glass file as well. Um, and it is reusable, like a washable one. Um, so I love their files, which I need to go ahead and clean all the ones that I do have. Because um, I have purchased this several times just because I really, really like it. So that was everything that I got. I didn't get a whole lot. Again, like I've been mentioning in my last few monthly box videos for Julep, I'm you know, kind of trying not to buy really any polish just because I really don't need um, any more polish. I have so many and so many colors already that 
I don't need any more polish right now unless there's a color that just totally speaks to me but um, anyway so then I went to um, Dollar Tree again because I believe I think her name is ECH or EH Bunny uh, mentioned because I mentioned that I started using the satin pillowcase um, or that I wanted to try it in one of my videos and I did end up buying like I think two from Walmart but they were like seven dollars a piece and then um, the other issue with the satin pillowcase that or the only issue that I really have other than price but it you know when you sleep on it you move around it ends up moving off the pillow so depending upon how you move or if you move a lot which I generally don't move a lot but I have noticed several nights that the pillowcase is coming off the pillow which kind of defeats the purpose because then my hair is directly on the actual pillow and not the case so um I, it did, and I also just wanted to get more just so that I, when I'm washing, um, when I'm washing one, I still have several available or whatever. So I did go to the Dollar Tree and found some, and then I also found some more of these thermal conditioner caps, um, which I have one. Um, but that one, like after you use it for a while, you'll start noticing that the gold coloring or whatever foil looking part of it does start to come off so I just wanted to get um, some backups um, just in case and these again were a dollar at the Dollar Tree I should have probably gotten more than three but um, the one that I have been using has lasted me pretty you know fairly long so I figure I really it's not something I'm going through quickly and then um, I like I said I picked up my main reason for going to the Dollar Tree was to get these satin pillowcases and I bought a red, um, two purple ones and I bought two black ones. I already have one on my bed and then, uh, they only have one of this, um, print here, which I'm kind of annoyed about. This is the one that I wanted the most and was just going to get one, but then I was like, they're a dollar. Why not? Now, the one thing I was surprised and love about these is that they zip shut. Problem solved with the pillowcase coming off. Now, um, again, they're only a dollar. And I was very, like I said, very, very surprised to find out that they had a zipper on them. Because, like I said, I was getting kind of annoyed with the fact that the pillowcase, because it's satin, it moves and, you know, will come off of the pillow. But this one is a nice size one. And like I said, it zips. Now, the only thing I will mention is that they didn't, like, for some strange reason, the zipper doesn't go um, all the way from end to end so if you have a really big pillowcase you'll have to kind of fold it a little bit to get it in there but then once you've got it in there it fits in there properly and your pillow is not all folded and smushed but I'm just happy that this has it's um, I feel like it's a little longer than a standard pillowcase because mine just barely like there would be part of the pillowcase hanging out of the pillow hanging out of the case um, but again with a zipper um, cause I was kind of worried about my pillow not fitting, but this fit perfectly and it's a zipper. So if you have not gotten your hands on them, and if you wanted to try them, you should definitely check them out. Um, mine, like I said, had an assortment of colors. Unfortunately, they didn't have a ton of the one design that I wanted, but again, it's a pillowcase. It's not like, you know, it's going to match my bedding or anything like that. I just need it to have some extra ones so when there's you know if they're they're dirty and I haven't had the chance to do laundry which I hate 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 doing laundry it's the bane of my existence so I don't I try not to do laundry very often um so when my pillowcases are dirty I still have you know clean ones available so like I said I bought two three four or five I bought six of them and they were a dollar each so a fantastic buy very pleased with that and then the last things I got were from Sally's and um, 
This, they had a promotion, I guess, when you spent more than $40 or something. You got to choose from one of their tote bags. They had this one with the flower print and the black and white stripes. And then the inside is purple. And then they had just a black one that had like a faux leather um, side and then a just plain fabric side. And then the purple one was the same it was kind of like this color purple but like a metallic -y purple on one side and then fabric on the other i just thought this one was nice and cute and just not plain like i would normally get now i know i said i was not gonna become a product hair product junkie but oh my god i i, I just can't I mean, I just can't not buy something, especially when I've tried something or saw something that I wanted to try. Um, so this is a repurchase. It's the um, Design Essentials Natural from their natural line. And it's the Coconut and Manoe Coconut Water Curl Refresher with sunflower milk, protein, and chamomile. Deep penetrating daily moisture blend tames frizz and revitalizes curls for dull, dry, thirsty hair. It says 18 ounces, and depending upon your card, um, mine was, I think it is, I think this one was the 1029, because I got two of the coconut, no, so I think this one was, oh, uh, this one was 12.99, and this was with my pro card. So I think it's going to be like either 13 something or about $14, between 13 14 dollars if you don't have a pro card. If you're just a Sally member or um, a, stu well, a student, you'll get that, I believe, the same price or very close to the same price as a pro card. Yeah, I think you get the same price. So to the public, I think it would be about... $13.50, $14, a little bit over, but no more than $15. Um, I really do like this. This is really nice. I've used this, uh, my other bottle. There is about like maybe that much left in it, so I wanted to get a backup. Um, especially for when I'm using some of the Design Essential product. Like I said, they sometimes when I'm using that, it doesn't hold up as well. And I find that I need to kind of, you know, refresh my curls daily um, when I'm using that. Um, I am using, she did use the Design Essentials Curl Defining Cream Gel, Gel Cream. But she put a little spritz in here, so it's actually holding up excuse me, pretty well. I haven't done anything today. I'm just lounging around the house um, trying to get some order to my nail room. Oh my God, this process is taking so long. But hopefully soon I will have it together. Um, but anyway, the next item that I purchased was a coconut and manoe deep moisture milk souffle. And um, it says a triple layer triple dose of nourishing botanicals for layers of hydration softness and shine for dull dry thirsty hair and again it's from the design essentials natural line and this is specifically the coconut and manoi line because they have a complete line of natural hair care products and then within that a uh, part of the natural they have the um avocado and something line and then the coconut and manoi line and I wanted to try the souffle because when I think of souffle, I'm thinking it's something that's light and not going to be too heavy. But will, um, you know, give me that added moisture. So this is what it looks like. It has a subtle smell. And um, it is fairly light. I'm not sure why they necessarily call I mean it is kind of light I'm not sure why they necessarily call it like a a souffle because when I think of a souffle I think of a little bit lighter kind of texture or feeling um this to me seems more just like a cream almost but I'm gonna try this and let you guys know how I how it works in terms of you know if it adds enough moisture to my hair and that one was um 
uh, I think eleven thirty nine. This one you get twelve ounces. Uh, so that's the difference. Cause my hairstylist, she also, um, the owner of the shop that she works at is a distributor or a product something like you know where they, I guess, teach or something um, about the hair products so um, they sell them at her um, salon and I was looking at the price differences and she gave gave me the copy of the sheet and I can, was comparing prices and I thought that Sally's was much cheaper but I think it um, they have different sizes which I didn't pay attention that this one's only 12 and the um, one at the that the salon sells was a little bit higher but I believe it was 16 ounces instead of 12 ounces. And I think it was like a dollar difference or something like that. Maybe $2 just because with your pro card. But anyway. So the, got that. And then the next two items are from the original natural line. Which is the um, almond and avocado line. And um, let's see. So I got the, I'm trying to figure out which one is which price. Um, honestly, I don't know because again, they do their numberings totally different. Um, there is a different label so it doesn't match the SKU or on here or so. I don't know which one is which. So one was ten twenty nine and one was eleven oh nine. Again, that's the pro card price. Um, I, again, it would be about somewhere between twelve and thirteen dollars for the regular price. So what I got was the almond and avocado moisturizing and detangling sulfate free shampoo. This is for all curl types, and it says saves up to 30 minutes detangling time. Um, and so this is what the original Design Essentials natural packaging line looks like with the olive green kind of lettering. And um, I wanted to try this because I've already tried this. Um, it's the almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner, which I absolutely love. And again, I'm finally like almost out of it so I wanted to buy some more before I ran out um, so this is the again design essentials essentials and these are both eight ounces and it is the almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner um, so I wanted to try I want I, like I said I'm running out of this almost gone so I wanted to get some more because I really do love this leave-in conditioner and I just wanted to try this shampoo because um, I really like the de the leave-in conditioner um, so yeah and that was all because what I was initially going to Sally's to look for was the curl defining gel cream um, to try that out but the particular Sally's that I went to didn't have any. Um, so I ended up picking up the other items. And since I was running almost empty on these two products, I wanted to get some more and then try out the two new products. So hopefully I'm not going to be having no more hauls with a lot of hair stuff, because hair products anyway. Because I really don't need any more hair products again. I went ham when they had the BOGO free on the Shea Moisture products. Um, so, um, I really don't need any more because I have more than enough to last me God knows how long. But um, I was just interested in wanting to try those out. I, and I guess I'm more likely to buy stuff from Design Essentials because I've used them. I know how it works. I know how my hair responds to it as opposed to going out and buying like a completely brand new line of products. Um, and then after trying the Jane Carter products and having my, I just it irritates 
my scalp really badly. I don't know, like that makes me kind of leery about trying products that I've yet to use because you just don't know what ingredients might cause a reaction or whatever. So, um, and I don't know, I need to check the ingredients on there to see if there's something that's drastically different from what's in the other products. So maybe I can narrow it down and look for that particular ingredient within other brands or other lines of brands of product brands so that I don't purchase something. And um, also, I don't want to spend the f money to buy a full price, full size product. Um when I'm just trying to test it out. I know there are some that have like, very few that have travel size kits, but not enough. I really think that all these brands need to have a travel size kit with the entire line in a travel size. So that way, if you wanted to try it, you can try it and not be worried like, okay, I got a couple uses out of this. It doesn't work, but you know, I don't have like a big old bottle that I've spent like, cause some of these, hair care brands like you spend like almost $20, $30 on just one bottle of product. And if it doesn't work for your hair, you don't want to keep using it, but you spent the money to use it or to buy it. So you feel like you have to use it. So that's what kind of um, puts me off on buying and trying other completely different brands. Um, I know at Ulta there is one brand that my sister had showed me that they do have like travel size ones. Um, so I may at some point try one of those, but I really don't need to because again, I have more than enough hair care products to last me for a, a long time. Um, so that was all I got from, oh, another last other item that I bought from the dollar store was this um, lint roller. And I bought this one because I don't like the one, the, I think it's the Scotch ones. These don't pick up very well. Um, like the other ones that I had, you can just easily roll and it comes off. But this one, I feel like I have to use a little bit too much effort. And it's like you gotta just, you can only do this by pressing down instead of just being able to quickly swipe and roll over it. And then it's like, even though there are spaces where there's nothing at, it's like, it's very iffy in how it picks up. So I wanted to try this one in hopes that this one would be a little bit better. Although I'm pissed because I bought like 10 of those Scotch ones just because I'm thinking there are lint rollers. They're all going to work the same and do the same type of, you know, cleaning up and so not the case so if you see them scotch ones don't even bother it try another brand so hopefully this one is by essentials easy pill lint roller 50 sheets um and again at the dollar tree so if this one works i'm just gonna go to the dollar store pick up some other ones and i don't know what i'm gonna do with all those other ones so yeah so that's actually everything that i got over the past um few weeks so let me know if you've been hauling anything. Let me know if there's something you think I need to know about. Let me know if you've seen something I've been looking for and where to get it. Um, leave your questions, comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Um, thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times. And sorry I didn't have a tip of the week video this week. It's been kind of busy um, around here trying to... Um, just work has been insanely busy, nonstop, and then I get home trying to do some stuff, cook dinner, then we work out, me and my husband go work out, and with my brother and his wife, we're going on a cruise in October, we're all trying to start getting healthy, working out, not just to be physically, I mean, the physical appearance, but we're also trying to also all eat healthy, so we're doing like a, um, and also just to make sure we are very keeping in touch with family like we're doing like one day a week they're going to cook a healthy meal and we're going to have we're going to all eat dinner together and then they're going to do Tuesdays we're going to do Thursdays where me and my husband prepare a healthy meal they come over and eat dinner with us um so yeah, so trying to get everything squared away, still trying to work on my nail room, trying to figure out the best organizational system or how to just do things or just start getting things put away until I can get the racks that I need because the place that I want has the one, ones that I want, they have didn't have any more in stock. 
So just a few things and I've just been kind of just tired and busy. So yeah, so and then I think I probably will be going back to nail school to get my manager's license. Um, because in order to either do booth rent and or have a sh own a shop and collect booth rent, you have to have your manager's license. And my goal is to have my own shop. And um, so I've been, you know, me and my husband have been coming up with ideas, kind of figuring out what location and things like that. And um, I don't want an opportunity to come up where there's a really good deal or like a find a good building that building that has a good price and has the perfect space and you know kind of layout that I need um, and then not be able to do it or be dependent upon someone who has a manager's license in order to you know get the building or do it so I want to be able to I don't want to be dependent on, upon someone else because things happen people you know say oh yeah I'm interested and then you know things don't follow through then I'm kind of in, in a pickle so um, I only have to do a hundred hours for the manager's license um, so I think I'm just going to have to, you know, buckle down and pay the price, the tuition for, take the course. Although I know there's no instruction. is basically I'm just reading a book and doing the project. But the problem, if I don't do it, you have to work full time for a year or an equivalent of 2,000 hours, which I can't quit my day job just yet. So completing 2,000 hours and then what has to happen there has there's like a form that the salon you're working at has to complete to verify your hours so yeah it's with my schedule um it's probably gonna take me almost like two years to get it just from work to do the work experience instead of just taking the course so i am unfortunately just gonna have to take the course and, you know, at least that way I know I will be done in, I want to say, a matter of, let's see, 100 hours. I can do the schedule that I did before, like Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and possibly a few more hours on Fridays when I'm off and be done in maybe two, two and a half, three months. I don't know. I'd have to calculate it to see what works best. But, um... But yeah, so that's kind of the plan. So my schedule will change again. I'm so sorry, but I will try to keep up consistently for now doing videos until my schedule changes and then try to do something just a little bit more consistent where certain days of the week I will have videos up and that's the hopefully that will work out. So especially considering the... Um, manager's course is a lot different than the other course where I'm literally just paying pretty much to rent their space for a hundred hours and for them to verify that I completed a hundred hours that's pretty much what I'm paying for and I guess the books but unfortunately sometimes think you just gotta bite the bullet and do some things um just so I can reach my goal and not be limited or having to wait like two years before I can get to that point so let me stop rambling because this video is long enough for what was very few items that I actually bought so but I just wanted to share some news give some updates and um, but I think that's all that I needed to share and again hopefully my nail room will be together somewhat soon and I can do a room tour once I get things kind of set how um I would like them or as organized as I possibly can so um thank you for watching again stay polished at all times subscribe if you have not already leave your questions comments down below if you have any organizational ideas or links or you know like I don't know if you've seen something on Pinterest or some other videos on how people do their room to storage Please share the link with me down below or some in some form or fashion. Tag me in a post so I can see it because I really need some ideas. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day. Bye.